So, hello again YouTube from the Ergon Safety Lab cave stuff. But yeah, first of all I'll put in the beginning of this video the material analyzer. Analyzing clip. So let's analyze this. And the analyzer says it's 2024 except there's just about 0.2% too little uh, magnesium but yeah 2024 that's the stuff and we have this kind of analyzer. And let's analyze the second one. And it's the same. Here you can see the mark that it leaves on the surface where it vaporizes the material. Now now we can get to the simulation part. We have nonlinear static simulation on the Leslie two cylinder, and this is now with with the material that is known. It's the two zero two four or the sixteen T. That is Russian equivalent of the material. There are some minor differences in the material, but it should be treated the same. But yeah. Now that we have the material known, we can actually make the simulation so that so that it'll show us what's what. But yeah. Um, in the simulation I I put an end cap here so it doesn't show the highest stress point in the thread where it is the weakest if it's pressurized but in, in this study it's not pressurized because there's a cap, cap on it but yeah so here we see the stress riser in the sharp corner that I've been talking in the previous videos. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the point that I'm I'm trying to trying to well make that this corner in the pressure vessel it's not a good idea because it well the computer shows it as a stress riser and all around it the stress is below 100 and i would say 160 megapascals all around the part except in here where it goes above the yield strength of the material it doesn't go above the ultimate tensile strength of the material because that is higher than 408 but it goes past the yield point so this is starting to yield at this and and what what worries about me is the fact that this is a structural part also this is part of the butt stock and most of the um four C's are in here because the buttstock comes here and it's against your shoulder and if you drop the rifle it's going to be here all the load so the external loads and the internal stress at 300 bars oh yeah this study is in 300 bars could be enough to cause a fracture in here where it's already yielding slightly 
and that's my concern with this design. Even a two millimeter radius in here would relieve the stress and so you have much more material holding the outside forces when you don't have internal stress riser here. And we can go from stress to safety factor. All around the cylinder the safety factor is around 3. It's on green and yellow so it's above 1 but this is mostly green on the high stress area so I would say it's closer to 3 and above it than 1 because then there's the stress riser here and that is 0 0.794 But yeah, this is just something I wanted to wanted to share with you people. Stress and strain. There's also strain in the same corner. Of course, there's strain when there's stress. But yeah, this is something I I wanted to share with you people. But I'm actually pretty glad the material is what the manufacturer says it is and there's not been a mix-up in materials. Um, I would personally choose a different material for this. But I'm not making these as a production run. All the guns I make are for myself, usually, or some, some to my friends in the past, but the EU legislation has stopped that also. So most of the guns I make are for myself, and I use chromoly steel on the air cylinders. But yeah, this was... This was the conclusion, I think, to this part. I got the material analyzed and we know what it is. And uh, smarter people than me can continue to debate on this, if it's safe or not. I've done, I've done my part as, as I would like to call it. I found out what watch what and uh, and I've given you my concerns about the safety of this design. And yeah, the sharp corners the is the one that worries me. But yeah. You are all stay safe and if you have any questions post them down the down below. Subscribe if you like the channel and what I'm doing. And you all stay safe and have a nice day. Bye.